extras, like, I worked a lot as an extra in the past, but some, like, of the extras you meet working on TV shows are, like, some of the most, like, delusional fucking people you'll ever meet. There's some people who are in it, working it as just, like, you know, just a job. Like, it's a, if you treat it that way, it's a nice, flexible job that you can have your schedule worked out when you're gonna work, when you're not gonna work. But then there's some people who think working as an extra on a TV show is, like, a pathway to stardom. And it's, it's not, dude. It's just a separate, an entirely separate skill set. Not even skill set, it's just an entire, like, it's, it, it's like a, going up a, like, a, a, a route in a story. You're, you're going up the wrong fucking route if you think you're gonna jump from extra to principal actor. I agree, there's some people who, like, are doing, are going through both pathways, you know, doing auditions and shit like that while they work as an extra for money. But then there's some people who, like, they think they're gonna keep working as an extra, and one day they're gonna be plucked out of obscurity and be like, this guy. Uh, they'll, they're always, like, the guys who, like, overact as an extra, too. It's like, oh my god, this guy, like, he did this extra flourish while he was walking. That's my next star. You, get the contract out. There's people who really think that's what happens. And they're... And it's embarrassing, like, how naive they are after having worked as... Like, there'll be dudes I'll, I, I'll have run across who have been doing that shit for, like, 20 years and still think, like, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. Extras are important, but they're basically living props. There's this one dude who I worked with as an extra on a lot of things. And I remember, like, I would... I made the mistake of adding some of these people on social media. I mean, some of them are cool, but, like, I would add some of the people who I don't really, like, fuck with, but they're just around, so it's like, yeah, I'll add you on, like, Facebook or some shit. They're, but they're, like, I would just add whoever on Facebook, and then you, you started to see them, and the things they do, like, so, yeah, like, one of them is they'll add their extra roles on IMDb. It, you, this, this is a fun exercise. You can look up any, I mean, especially, you'll see it in New York and LA, especially, but you look up any TV show or movie that shot in New York or LA, and you go to the bottom of the IMDb, I am the bottom of the IMDb page, and see all the, the actors' names listed, and you, at the bottom, you'll find the extras who added their own credit in there. It'll be like, you know, guy eating a hot dog at the, at the bottom of the thing, uncredited. But yeah, if you're if you work as an extra, it's very lame to add your IMDb credits in yourself. There is this one guy who he he worked on a few episodes of Law and Order, as everyone who fucking lives in New York and does that job has. Um, but he made a flyer for himself to promote his episodes of Law and Order, where he worked as an extra. And it'll literally be a picture of him from the episode walking next to a principal actor or like the top of his head in one scene. Oh, uh, oh, you cunt. No. And one of the fucking pictures on this flyer. I'll never fucking forget it. I have this guy blocked now because like he used to always like just DM me with shitty memes. Just like everything he sent me was just like was fucking terrible. So I just... I, I rarely block people, but I had to block this dude just so he was that fucking annoying. But, on this flyer, there's one picture of him sitting on the fucking direct- Sitting on the director's chair with his shoulder up on it, looking back, and I'm like, you motherfucker, like, if- He's like- and The thing is, like, people who work as extras on that, they can flex to their friends who, like, who see that and don't know any better because they don't do that job, so I think, wow, this guy's a real big star. You, like, but guaranteed, if, if, like, the staff, if any of the crew saw him sitting on that chair like that, they would have told him to get the fuck off of it. But he's just, like, sitting there with his, with his shoulder posed up. I'm a, I'm a big shot. Let me show all my Facebook friends what a big shot I am. There'll be, like, other ones that'll, like, they'll post their shit from set with, I, one I remember specifically, it was, like, a dude who was working as an extra that I knew, and he was using, like, the hashtag, like, Instagram picture from set of him working as an extra. Hard work pays off. Like, no. 
it's not hard work paying off, dude. Like you, you, uh, you sent your email applying for the job that day, and they said yes. And it was a non-uni gig, so you got paid like minimum wage to uh, to stand there and be human furniture. This isn't hard work paying off. This is you on the grind doing the job like everybody else. Like I don't understand. Like I, I guess some people get into it to like to like flex on their friends who don't know any better. That being said, I do. I saw John Wick four, or five came out are, are like being worked on now. I do want to try to like. Oh, I'm like cunt. I want to try to get on those. Just like I had like a that scene in John Wick three, where they're like they're calling up the assassins and there's always like zoom ins on people. I worked on that scene and they did like a dope ass close up on me, but they didn't use it in the final movie. So I was like, fuck, man, I wanted that in there. So now I'm gonna see if they have any good featured extra things to apply to. Maybe I will do that. I, j I have been working on those kinds of jobs in a while, though, just because it's like, it doesn't... It's not really, like, how I want to spend my time. I did go on a bunch of regular auditions, too, for speaking roles. Not a John Wick, on uh, just random other shit. And I, I... It's fucking terrible. I can't act. I don't know how to act, but sometimes you just wind up getting these auditions. I remember I went on one. And... Uh, like, within, like, five seconds of me opening my fucking mouth, the guy asked me, he's like, do you usually work as an extra? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I figured. <laughs> the outfit they gave me on that was fucking cool, too. Um, they gave me two different outfits from the John Wick shoot. One of them basically just kind of, like... It was what my own suit jacket, and they gave me some accessories and whatnot, and it was it just looked like a, like a Yakuza fit. And the other one, they gave me a big fucking... Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. They gave me, like, this big puffy fur coat. And it was just like a pimp out. That was the one they did the close-up on. They didn't use it. What kind of role do I see myself playing? I don't... I don't know. Like, when I was doing it as a job, I didn't give a fuck. I never had designs on being an actor or any shit like that. It was just something I was doing to get paid. So if, if someone was like, hey, here's a speaking role, I don't really care what it is. Just, as long as you fucking pay me. Oh, I'm gonna lose now. That's it for me. Get up, get up, oh! No! Oh, you son of a bitch! saw that I was in Joker. That's strange, because I wasn't in Joker. I applied to work on Joker, but they never took me. Probably because it's a period thing and I have tattoos, so... Usually they don't take you for period stuff when you have tattoos. Oh yeah, Gotham I worked on, yeah. The coolest role I did was probably... This movie that wound up airing on Lifetime, in Custody. It was, uh, starring Hayden Panettiere, and the story, well, not the story, the reason, my role is Hayden Panettiere goes to some, like, grungy dive bar, and the next day she wakes up next to some, some creepy dude, and that dude is me. That was an interesting scene to shoot, just like, being in bed with Hayden Panettiere. And it was like, the kind of, the scene is kind of like, she wakes up next to me, she gets like a, a phone call, and then I'm still in bed with her. And then it's like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fuck her. So and the director is like, I'm like, I'm sitting, I'm an extra, like trying to not get fucking fired. And, but so I'm not being as aggressive as I should be. And then the director is like, nah, you're like, you gotta get on top of her and she, you gotta get in her face, you're trying to fuck. And then she goes, yeah, you know, don't don't mind that my husband is the heavyweight champion of the world, and I told him where you live. But eventually I got the point, and I, I got a usable shot for it. Oh, I gotta get first place right now? No, I'm not! Yeah, it, it's a much older movie. Not much old, but it's older. It, uh, I don't have a mustache, and my hair is, like, partially blonde. 
So I look different in it, but it's me. It, I probably wouldn't come up if you searched my name and her name. It would just... It's, I'm not one of those extras that adds his names to the credits. So it wouldn't come up like that. And even though that's like a very feature role, it's still an extra role. Like, people think you get more money or something if it's uh, more featured, but it doesn't work that way. It's still an extra. I did, if you don't talk... If you don't talk, you're still an extra. Oh, I, should, I guess I should have fixed the camera angle for that. If you were to search uh, the name of the movie, Custody, it would probably come up. Yeah, as soon as... If you're an extra on a set, and all of a sudden they decide they want you to say something, then they bring out a contract, and your job fundamentally changes. I saw that happen one time. No, I saw it happen a couple times. But... What show was it? I got close to getting that one time. It was on- oh, it was on the show Younger. There was a scene where Hilary Duff's character is, uh, she's at a bar, she's single, and her friend's trying to put her up to, like, talking to a bunch of men. So, they had a bunch of guys that, like, w they did auditions to get that part. Um... To, like, try and hit on her, and she turns them down. But then, they- w they set up a bit where there was going to be an extra who just kind of walks up to her and she says something and before the guy even has a chance he just kind of turns around and leaves they took a bunch of us aside to do that thing and they want to pick in some other dude but then when they actually tried the bit out it, it just looked awkward like that so what they did was they had uh oh, oh i made it the backflip what they wind up doing is just having the guy, like, start to say something and she interrupts him. And that was enough for him to get the whole, uh, extra contract. I mean, the whole, uh, principal actor contract. As, as soon as you say something, if it's not part of, um... I forgot what the fucking name was. Um, an Omni. An Omni is when all the extras are making sounds. Like, if you're chanting something or you're making crowd noise. That's different. You don't get paid for that. And there is another one I saw where they needed someone who speaks Italian. I feel like I do alright on this one, so... Damn, I could have milked that a little bit more. Oh, I fucked myself. No! Bitch! Ah! This guy's gonna fuck me somehow. <laughs> the way I worded that. Ah, oh, yeah. No! Oh! Oh! No! Ah! Ah! It was down between me and that guy. Ah! You. Oh my god! No! Oh my god! I was so close!